If you have a slow cooker in your kitchen or down in your basement, you have a source of hands-off cooking. You can put your ingredients in the slow cooker and that low constant heat cooks it and in hours you have a meal and you really haven't had to dirty one pot or pan sauteing anything. You just put it all in the slow cooker. Well, one of my favorite things to make in the slow cooker are veggie burrito bowls. And I'm gonna show you the secret to perfect veggie burrito bowls in the slow cooker. So the first thing I've done is just lightly oil the bottom of my slow cooker. I use a little avocado oil. You can use olive oil or any kind of oil you want really. And the secret to getting everything to cook to perfection is to layer it rather than toss it all together. So we're going to start by putting in a layer of sweet potatoes. You can see I've cubed them pretty small, and I'm going to put those in the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is mix one cup of short, short grain brown rice with some seasoning. I've got a teaspoon of coarse salt, kosher salt, and I've got three quarter teaspoon of oregano. I'm just gonna give that a little pinch as I put it in. And I have three quarter teaspoon of chili powder and half teaspoon of smoked paprika. Did I say ground coriander? Three quarter teaspoon of ground coriander too. We'll put that in and then mix that up so that all the grains of the brown rice are coated with the seasoning. And I'm going to just sprinkle that rice right over the sweet potatoes. And then I'm going to pour in one and a quarter cups of broth. You can use vegetable broth, that's what I'm using today. Put that right over the rice. And one can of diced tomatoes. Put that right over the top and just kind of spread it, spread those tomato chunks around. And one red bell pepper sprinkled over the top. And one poblano pepper that I'm putting in. And about a cup of frozen or fresh corn kernels you can do in the summer, but now I'm using frozen corn. So get those all into your slow cooker. Oh, along with the beans, we can't forget the beans, right? I'll put the cover on, set my slow cooker at low for about four and a half to five hours. And when it's done, I'll stir it up and it makes a delicious burrito bowl. So today I've got my burrito filling just in a bowl with some tortilla chips. You could also wrap it up in a tortilla if you want. I'm Sue Doden sharing good food for good life 365.